everybody welcome to my youtube channel and we're resuming after such a long time so there'll be a lot of perspective added to the discussions which will happen after this i call these discussions because you are most welcome to write down your thoughts in the comment sections or you can dm me on instagram so the topic uh, i will be guiding you about is how to choose a particular lab after you qualify jrfc Till JRF, it's like a very clear road hai, that either go for a coaching or you know just sort out the strategies how you're gonna do it and once you qualify the exam I think it is very much less discussed that a uh, lab kaise choose karni hai, that how to uh, choose a laboratory because that is uh, going to decide your future further after like uh, five years down the line okay? so the thing will be pehle, Congratulations on qualifying JRF and then I know the jittery feelings or the you know butterflies in the stomach remains for one day, two day, maybe for one week and after which the anxiousness, the anxiety starts kicking in as to how to choose a laboratory, right? Those ke liye, the solution is you yourself and also you will have some uh, videos on YouTube which will be telling my this institute's PhD experience or how PhD life is all about or I think uh, YouTube pay you will not get that much information so prefer referring Quora for it and uh, try to read people's experiences before going uh, for a PhD. Uh, because it's a like long process and also let me remind you it's not a job so you might feel uh, maybe overwhelmed maybe anxious so wo, do feelings ke beech mein drift kar sakte ho, beech mein. but having said that yes wo feeling B is not permanent and it comes and goes with time and you start having thrills in the process that is aapko pata hai kya, jab ho, maybe you'll get the solution tomorrow and you'll be thrilled you'll be happy you'll be excited so pehle, uh, the students I consider are PhD material so I accumulate experience ko accumulate karte hue kehti hu, ki if you do not like a 9 to 5 job if you do not like a fixed routine if a routine becomes monotonous for you then I think you should go for a PhD because you will be bombarded with challenges every other day but having said that it's not a task it's not an intelligence bureau so you have your own problems your career is based on that problem, on the solution of that problem, you'll be having a boss or your PI who will who will have to exert pressure over you for getting the results. So the thrill is there, but also the responsibility that my career is based on it is also there. So first one, if you don't like a fixed nine to five job, yes, you can consider yourself going for a PhD and enrolling for a PhD. Having said that, this should not be the sole reason. Okay, so yes let me discuss how to start after getting your jr so uh first thing first is either you are having a particular interest or you are not sure about uh, the topic or the broad research area where you want to contribute or where you want to see your career after like let's say five to ten years if, if i uh, combine all the process of like phd postdoc and then you know having uh, to juggle with this uh, process of getting a faculty position so maybe it's, it's it's a time period it's a large time period of five to eight years okay so if you don't know it then consider going for a project again it 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 feels counter intuitive when i say this because you already have a jrf right so you'll be like manisha are you saying to waste my fellowship no i'm not saying that but i definitely am trying to make you clear that uh, you first know what you're going to face in the upcoming years right so try going for a project or try to join some lab and work there I don't know I should say this or not but without activating your fellowship okay so work there this will be your expense the fee will be from your side everything will be from your side right and also the time jo waste kar rahe ho, yeah, uh, wo hindsight will it will not be a waste it will be the uh, investment but investment for clarity but again wo cheese jo aap kar rahe ho, you, you're putting yourself in a risk so if in case you've got your result as jrf i'm asking you if you're not sure about it go and join a project go and let yourself know let yourself acclimatize and familiarize with the process ki hai kya yaar yaha, you know what you're gonna deal with okay so agar 
बता दिया इफ यू आर नॉट श्योर देन वॉट यू शुड डू बट इफ यू आर श्योर इफ यू नो दैट दिस इज अ पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक दिस इज द पर्टिकुलर एरिया ऑफ इंटरेस्ट विच आई वॉन्ट इन विच आई वॉन्ट टू मेक इम्पैक्ट ऑन सो आई वुड से स्टार्ट ई मेटिंग द प्रोफेसर स्टार्ट कम्युनिकेटिंग बेट इंडिया बेट आउटसाइड इंडिया बट जस्ट रिमेंबर द फैक्ट दैट डू नॉट डिविएट फ्रॉम द टॉपिक ऑफ इंटरेस्ट बिकॉज दैट विल वॉट विल कीप यू गोइंग फॉर फॉर लाइक अ लॉन्गर ड्यूरेशन राइट सो इफ यू आर वेरी क्लियर आई थिंक कम्युनिकेशन इज अ मस्ट लैब विजिट करिए एंड एक विजिट नहीं तो जस्ट डू टू टू फोर विजिट्स फ्रीक्वेंट विजिट्स करिए टॉक टू द सीनियर्स ऑफ द लैब बी वेरी क्लियर दैट यू डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू वेस्ट योर टाइम एंड जस्ट अप्रोच द अदर पर्सन विद अ माइंड सेट दैट यू आर गोइंग टू बी एन एम्प्लॉई सो डिमांड फॉर इक्वल और म्यूचुअल रिस्पेक्ट फ्रॉम द अदर पर्सन म्यूचुअल रिस्पेक्ट फॉर ओपिनियन आई एम नॉट सेंग म्यूचुअल रिस्पेक्ट फॉर द फैक्ट दैट यू आर इंटेलिजेंट और समथिंग नो म्यूचुअल रिस्पेक्ट फॉर द फैक्ट दैट यू नो एंड यू आर क्लियर अबाउट वॉट यू वॉन्ट ऑन योर टेबल राइट तो दो ही रास्ते हैं वंस यू क्वालिफाइड योर जे आर एफ इन अनाटशल अगर बता दूँ तो पहला आप बहुत क्लियर हो कि आप किस पे काम करना चाहते हो तो प्लीज फाइंड आउट कि उस पर कौन काम कर रहे हैं कम्युनिकेट विद दैम एंड स्टार्ट बिल्डिंग समथिंग आउट ऑफ इट एंड मीन वाइल बी फ्लेक्सीबल हो सकता है यू विल नॉट लाइक दी यू नो एरिया सो मच इन दी प्रोसेस and if it happens try to persist try to persist for a longer duration if you rebound as to if you uh, start uh, again gaining the interest it's well and good if you're not then please leave that place please la- leave that area okay so and second thing if you're not clear i would suggest you to join a six months project join a few like uh, like a project a short term project just to acclimatize and let yourself know that what phd is all about what the lab system is all about there's a term called lab politics which has to be there wherever there are human beings there has to be a term called politics it's not negative always it's the interaction of humans so you need to know and you need to know how the lab works okay so thank you everybody i hope it was blunt i hope it was like uh, i try to give you a perspective in the least time possible and uh, more than that if you want more than this uh, as to a personal advice you can drop an email and you'll get my mail id in the about section or you can dm me on instagram baat hum wahan kar lenge but try to uh, uh, listen to me between the lines also okay so yes bahut sari baat hai i can't say but try to listen to them as well because it comes from a place of wisdom it, it is coming from a place of experience so thank you everybody we'll meet in the next video